sometimes I don't care about nothing But there are things that I choose to not show Look in my eyes, you can see I'm not loving Everything in my power making this, doing this Shit that I invested in my mind, writing off the list So if you see that one dude on the side who seems pissed Tell him I don't give a shit, cause I'm riding solo Got to make miracles happen like I'm Tebow, oh Sometimes I don't care about nothing But there are things that I choose to not show Look in my eyes, you can see I'm not loving Into the side is Gunstringer is basically Kill Bill, but actually funny. Oh, I'm going to get a lot of hate for that comment, huh? Anyway, the story boils down to revenge. And our friend, the Gunstringer, is ready to kill all those bastards who betrayed him. Actually, to be honest, he's about to shoot anybody who's in his way. A man of few words, but he's ready to blast his way through cows, people, criminals, and even crocodiles to kill the guys who betrayed him. I think what was really neat about it is that the whole time you're playing, you're actually in a play. The gun stringer is the play. The creators of the game cleverly set up a stage in the beginning, putting the gun stringer on it, and then you have an audience, which you see, watching the gun stringer get his revenge. It's like a show. It's both fun and funny, and also to see the reaction of the audience, it's a good laugh. The story isn't deep or anything, but it's an enjoyable, ride and you should definitely get a few laughs out of it especially the random announcers shout outs and stuff the best though is the crocodile love making oh yeah you heard me crocodile love making wait for it with a human yeah it's fucked up but also funny Graphic wise, this game looks very arcadey, yet the colorful and funny world works so well with the game. Some of the animations are badass, especially our hero the Gunstringer, jumping in his cinematic ways and landing right on top of an enemy to pound his face in. Badass anyone? The areas are different enough, though some feel a bit too repetitive at times. It's to be expected though when you're in a Wild West story. But it can get tad boring on the eyes. The fun and humorous designs, though, more than make up for the blend environment. Now, this is my very first Kinect game that I'm reviewing, so it's a little bit different when I head into the gameplay. But let's talk about what works. The gameplay is where I was scared the game would fail. I mean, let's be honest, Kinect games are hard to impress. Most of them suck, some are decent, and very few are actually good. I like to tell you right here that Gunstringer has the best idea for keeping a Kinect game fresh. It's basically an arcade shoot 'em up. Think Time Crisis, but on the go. Our friend will always be running forward, blasting whatever is in his way. While you're running forward, you'll aim at your enemies, target them, and then flick your right hand up to shoot your enemies to dust. While it sounds simple, it takes a lot more skill than you would think, especially if you plan on getting a very high score in the game. On top of that, the game does a great job of mixing up gameplay from side platforming, to punching, to shooting, to ducking and cover shooting, to brawls, and so on. It really never gets boring, and that's what I like to call amazing flow for a game. Keep it fresh every few minutes, something many games fail to even try to do. Another cool thing worth mentioning besides the little events such as switching up the gameplay and platforming and brawling and all that is to pick up a special weapon. Some levels is a shotgun, sometimes it's a flamethrower. No matter what it is though, it's a blast to kill enemies with these freaking awesome special weapons. You feel like a badass and that's important when you're the gun stringer. Now the most important thing and aspect of all in this review is it's a connect game so you're wondering how well does it register. I'm a pretty tall guy, so sometimes it's hard for the game to register all of my movements, but for the most part, the game does a decent job, and I'm able to aim about 85% of the time and kill baddies with no problem. Sometimes my movements are a bit off, 
because it's kind of hard to control your guy when you're on the running or the boulders are chasing you and you kind of get hit. So the movements, as in moving the character, can be a bit off at times for me. Maybe it's because I'm too tall. I don't know. You know, you get a bit scared when you're running from boulders, so it could also be my reactions like, oh, fuck, what do I do? But to make it clear, the controls or lack of controls, your body controls, work well with Connect, and it registers pretty damn well. I really gotta say that I had an enjoyable time with Gunstringer. The negatives are short. Some iffy movements and some blend environments hold it back slightly. It's also only a couple of hours long. Though playing with a friend and also repeating levels and replaying them to get higher scores is always fun. So while the game isn't the perfect package, it's still a blast to play. Being that it's short, I still recommend renting this title. I award Gunstringer an 8 and consider it a great game for any fan of the Wild West or likes crazy fun stories and if you just want to shoot shit. Just don't spend the full $50 because you might beat it too quick and think, wow, this was not worth the money. The gunstringer pressed onward. There were bullets aplenty and the harvest had come. <laughs> Never repeating that, man. Y'all pussies know what I meant. I'm so proud of you. 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 I